Good evening, this is Dwayne Lowry for the DPP Grain Desk on Sunday, December 23rd. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about uh, last week's trade. Uh, the markets took a nosedive the last week. We took about a dollar out of beans. Uh, we continued to dump corn, probably dropping that market, you know, 30 or 40 cents beyond the, the uh, previous bottom side of the trading range. I think that uh, it's difficult to explain why that has happened. We can talk about soybeans dropping and because of China canceling beans, but when you look at uh, reasons why a country cancels uh, purchases, they're typically because something has changed in their profitability on their side. You know, but in the, this particular case, Chinese uh, crushing margins still remain very profitable, and so we're left to either believe that this is a uh, uh, temporary thing, a minor hiccup with. Uh, certain buyer specific reasons or else we're left to believe that maybe uh, with South American production potential looking good and weather generally favorable or acceptable that maybe they're able to cancel some US purchases and replace replace them with South American supplies that's a possible storyline it may be an accurate storyline but generally speaking late December is very early for that type of thing to be happening normally that happens later so I find it very difficult to offer you a good reason why China made these cancellations. I also find it difficult to know whether that's the main reason the markets were down as much as they were. Sometimes markets experience liquidation phases and realignment and they hit the reset button and these price breaks become more severe and uh, more significant than, than maybe what is justified. In this particular case I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean more towards that as a reason. On Friday, the markets were poised for some sort of technical stabilization and recovery, and uh, that we had those signs going away on Thursday. The uh, hopes were that you know, relatively quickly we could eclipse Thursday's losses and recover and get back towards Thursday's highs. That basically happened in one day with Friday, with the soybean market being up about 30 cents. Wheat and corn prices also stabilized. When you look at the wheat and corn trade, um, nothing new has fundamentally changed over the last two or three months as re in reality. We've got um, problems with the U.S. Plains uh, wheat condition reports we saw for several weeks of that crop condition. They're still a, we're involved in a drought in the, in the uh, Plains and for all practical purposes still have drought conditions in much of the Midwest. And these, an these things won't be solved anytime soon. We won't know where we're at there until spring. But there's been no particular change in the basic fundamental storyline. U.S. supplies of uh, corn are going to be very tight. U.S. supplies of, of beans are going to be very tight. It is true that South American production potential could, you know, uh, sa save the world's supply, so to speak, and, and be a, a neutralizing impact on, on tight U.S. supplies. But right now, um, that is not the market's primary focus. And I think as we try to explain why prices weakened as much as they did in the last couple of weeks, I think we should write it off more to holiday trade, end of the year positioning, and not really try to make a case that some major fundamental change has happened because I don't really think it, ha it, it has. All that's important now is have we liquidated enough? Has that liquidation process been enough? I think there are signs in, in Friday's trade and Thursday's trade that maybe it has been the case. Commitment of traders data over the weekend indicated that uh, large specs had liquidated a very large percentage of corn length, uh, probably a third of their positions. They've gotten net short bean, uh, wheat, and so now we've got a situation where US, U.S. wheat prices have tumbled far enough at a time other global supply uh, prices of wheat have actually been going up that U.S. wheat prices are very competitive and the chance and potential for new increased uh, U.S. wheat export sales is very good. We also have the January reports coming out in front of us here uh, that's going to return focus to the tight supplies of U.S. corn, uh, possibly a very uh, aggressive first quarter usage on corn. Uh, we haven't had the type of price structure that has maximized any type of uh, um, corn demand uh, reduction or rationing of supplies. Um, ethanol has continued to, to uh, be produced aggressively and it's very possible that once we see our first quarter statistics the trade begins to shift focus again towards the idea that hey we've got a tight supply and we've got to uh, curtail some demand here. 
So I think that there's a good chance that things begin to look better here after we get past the first of the year and after the markets have had this cleansing. With that in mind, I want to pass along a, a, a Christmas storyline here for you. It was the nightmare before the night before Christmas when all through the trade. Not a confident opportunity was found. Not even one an algorithm had made. The trading hours were expanded into the chimney with care in hopes that even St. Nick would trade his way there. The traders were nestled far from their beds with iPads, charts, and market alerts dancing in their heads. With screen one set for quotes and screen two set for order entry, I scrambled my brain in search of the wisdom's pantry. When in front of my eyes there arose such a flurry, I clicked on notification screen to see what was filled and if I should be in a hurry. Away to the screen I flew like a flash, only to find that my internet connection had been dashed. With my trusty phone so lively and quick, I knew in a moment I could make hotspot Nick. Now 3G, now 4G, now passcode and connection. On iPad, on laptop, on DTN, on Trader Advantage. To the top of the dashboard, to the top of the chart, now dash away, dash away from all my protective stops. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. These animals have to eat corn aplenty, but will we have enough corn when it has fallen so many pennies? I saw the fun trader, he was building a position. From his head to his foot it looked like a bag of toys being uncovered from recent ashes and soot. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His New York drawl had his mouth drawn up like a bow. I knew he was carrying a golden sack in tow. He was chubby and plump, having gobbled up my lot, but I was bound and determined to get back my pot. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that the bears had everything to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, moving prices from lower left to upper right without even a jerk. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew into the new year not to be a fizzle. But I hear him explain, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. For the DPP Grain Desk, it's been Dwayne Lowry. Merry Christmas.